Hello students, in the last episode we discussed about geometry progression and we worked out many problems. Today we take some more problems of a bit more difficult nature. If you recall in the arithmetic progression we had defined arithmetic mean that is AM. Similarly we can define GM that is geometric mean between two numbers. The geometric mean of two numbers A and B, supposing A and B are positive both, is given by root AB. Now why we insist A and B both positive because if one of them is negative, other is positive, this number will be imaginary. So to avoid imaginary number, we insist upon the fact that A and B must both be positive. Now we take a problem which involves GM. If AM and GM of two roots of a quality equation are 8 and 5 respectively, then obtain the quality equation. It is a good question because here we are clubbing the concept of quality equation with GP and AP. Now we have let the two numbers be A and B. So we have A plus B by 2 is equal to 8 and also we have root AB is equal to 5. This means A plus B is 16 and AB is 25. Now, as usual, we write a minus b whole square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 4ab. This makes 256 minus 100, that is 156. Now we have problem 1. If AM and GM of the roots of a quality equation are given to be 8 and 5 respectively, then obtain the quality equation. Suppose A and B are the two roots. We are given that A plus B by 2 is 8 and root AB is 5. So that we have A plus B is 16 and AB is 25. Yes. Thus we have some of the roots as well as their product. So we know any equation when sum and product is given, the equation becomes x square minus sum times x plus product equal to 0. So we have here x square minus 16 x plus 25 is 0. This is the required equation. We take one more problem in which gm is involved, find the value of n so that a power n plus 1 plus p power n plus 1 upon a n plus b n becomes the gm of a and b. Here we are given that a power n plus 1 plus b power n plus 1 upon a power n plus b power n is equal to root a b. On squaring both sides we get a 2 n plus 2 plus b 2 n plus 2 plus 2 a n plus 1 b n plus 1 equals a 2 n plus b 2 n plus 2 a n b n whole times a b. On simplification, we get a raised to power 2n plus 1 times a minus b equals b raised to power 2n plus 1 times a minus b. As a and b are not equal, we can safely cancel a minus b. So we are left with a power 2n plus 1 
equals b power 2 n plus 1. Since a and b are not equal, so neither of them can be 0. So, we can divide any of one of them. So, we get a upon b raised to power 2 n plus 1 equal to 1. Since a upon b is not 1, so this means 2 n plus 1 must be 0 eventually n equals minus 1 by 2. So, this is the required answer that is for n is minus 1 by 2 the given expression becomes the gm of a and b. As we did in the case of a p we can also insert number of terms between two numbers in g p form. As in a p we can also insert number of terms between two numbers to make it g p. For instance, we have a question insert four numbers between 5 and 15 625 so that the resulting sequence is in g p. Suppose they are g 1, g 2, g 3 and g 4. The first term is 5 and the last term is 15 625. So, now we have 6 terms in g p. So, we have t 6 is equal to a raised to power r 5. So, that 15 625 is 5 times r raised to power 5. This means 3 1 2 5 is r raised to power 5, but 3 1 2 5 is 5 raised to power 5. So, we get r is equal to 5. Hence, the numbers will be 5, 25, 125, 625, 3125 and 15, 625, whereas required numbers are these middle numbers namely 25, 125, 625 and 3125. Finally, we take one more question to highlight G m. If A m of two numbers is three times that of their G m, show that they are in the ratio 3 plus 2 root 2 is to 3 minus 2 root 2. Let the numbers be A and B. So, as per the given problem, we have A plus B by 2 is 3 times root A B. This gives a plus b whole square is 36 times a b, which gives a square minus 34 a b plus b square is equal to 0, which gives a upon b is equal to 34 plus minus 34 square minus 4 upon 2. So, we have a upon b is equal to 17 plus minus 17 square minus 1 that is 17 plus minus 288 which is equal to 17 plus minus 12 root 2. Now, the answer is not in the given form. So, we bring it to that form. We can observe that 17 root 12 is the square of 3 plus minus 2 root 2. Also, given ratio is 3 plus 2 root 2 upon 3 minus 2 root 2. We can simplify this as 3 plus 2 root 2 whole square upon 3 minus 2 root 2 times 3 plus 2 root 2, which makes it 3 plus 2 root 2 square. 
similarly if we take 3 minus 2 root 2 upon 3 plus 2 root 2 we get 3 minus 2 root 2 whole square. So, ultimately the value of a b a upon b which we get was this which you require is this both are equal. Hence, we have completed the question. Today, we have completed the questions involving G p. In the next episode, we shall take up some new kind of series which will partly involve A p and G p. Thanks.